right. Let's jump right in. That the prayer was fitting because tonight, tonight I'm gonna teach teach you on how to receive God's wisdom for this year. I'm going to teach you on how to receive God's wisdom for this year. Um, we talk about the New Year's resolutions. We talk about certain things that, you know, we want to, to do. Maybe we have goals. Maybe we have ambitions. But the reality is none of it holds a candle to the wisdom of God. So if you want to receive God's wisdom for this year, to put, put one in the chat. I want to know who is hungry for the wisdom of God this year. You want divine wisdom. You don't want the world's wisdom. You don't want just any type of wisdom. You want wisdom from your creator. You want wisdom from the one that you call Lord and Savior. That's the type of wisdom we are going to learn about tonight. So, of course, I got scriptures. I got scriptures. And, of course, as always, I'm going to get some people to, to read uh, those scriptures. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, 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 a little around the room, about a bop, boop, bop bang and uh we're gonna get through this thing uh in in a in a really good time so proverbs one from verse one to seven i'm gonna need um oh my goodness we 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 got dre dre it's so good to to see your name um if 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 i can bother you sir i'll have you read the first one if that's okay with you that's proverbs one from verse one to seven. Proverbs one, from verse one to seven. And maybe just put in the chat or say something if, if so I know that you're- Got it, I got it. You're, okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. If you're just jumping in, welcome. Good to see you, good to see you. Okay, so uh, the next one we have, it's still Proverbs one. And we're going from verse 20 to 33, from verse 20 to 33. Zenda, I love calling on you to read. You, you, you read so eloquently. So I'm going to call on you for 20 to 33 if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. It's funny that you're reading this and you said what you said, because I'm actually doing a 30-day challenge online where I have to read Proverbs for 30 days each verse come on now study it and use the soap method come um, on now yeah. understand it so it's so crazy that you said this today to hey. jump into the new year thank you holy spirit yeah man i yeah. see that's why we're here that's why Seriously. we're here all right i love it i love it okay next one we got james one verse five james one Verse five. Can I get a volunteer on that one? That's James one, verse five. Literally one verse. Can I get a volunteer, please, for that one? James one, verse five. Going once, going twice. I got it. Going to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I, the next one, James three. Verse 17, James 3, verse 17, James 3, verse 17. We got a volunteer. Me, I got it. Let's go, Rosie. I like it. I like it. Proactive. I like it. James, okay, last one. James 1, James 1 from 19 to 25. James 1. From 19 to 25. James 1. From 19 to 25. Pastor Glow got it. Let's go, PG. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. 
I like it. I like it. All right. So if you're just jumping in and you missed the title, tonight we're going to learn about how to receive God's wisdom for 2024. Now, can I just set the stage by first of all saying this? You need God's wisdom for this year. It is absolutely critical. It is absolutely necessary. It is absolutely necessary for you to receive God's wisdom for this year. I don't know if you guys have looked at uh, the economic times that we're in, the political climate that we're in, all of these different things. Listen, I don't really get caught up in it, but I'm aware enough to know that our world follows patterns. And if you follow patterns long enough, you can kind of start to see the common things that will happen in life over and over and over and over and over again. One of those things is wars. One of those things is famine. One of those things is economical downturn. These are things, guys, that have been repeated for centuries and centuries and centuries. If you look far enough back, even in the last 30, 40, 50 years, if you look closely enough, you will see patterns, patterns that will show you, man, ain't nothing new under the sun. So this year in particular, this is going to be a very interesting year, guys. This is going to be a very, very, very interesting year. And I'll just say this. You need God's wisdom for this year. You 100% need God's wisdom. If you don't have God's wisdom for this year, you're going to get caught in the matrix. You're going to get caught in whatever the, the world is doing economically, politically, you're going to get caught because you don't have wisdom that comes from outside of this world. It is very difficult to navigate your destiny with God when you're operating from man's wisdom. You're operating from the wisdom of the news channel. You're operating from the wisdom of your situation. You're operating from the wisdom of what your mama told you or what your papa told you or what your sis told you or what your spouse told you. What is, what is God's wisdom for you this year? That's what we're going to jump into. So let's go from Proverbs 1, from 1 to 7. Okay, one second. The Proverbs, the Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learn to their learning. Sorry and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Woo! Oh! So it's, it's saying the proverbs of the Solomon son of David, king of Israel, for gaining wisdom and instruction. It says, let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. And then it finishes by saying, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. 
wisdom, wisdom, wisdom is your friend. Now, I find it interesting, Z. I find it very interesting that you're doing this, 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 this challenge and you read Proverbs. Um, let me be honest with you guys. Proverbs is maybe one of the most dangerous books in the Bible for entrepreneurs, business-minded people. There might be some of you in here that, you know, you're, you're business-minded. You, 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 you not satisfied, uh, even maybe from a, a, an income standpoint, you contend. But you, you, you not satisfied, you know, you can push yourself more. You know that you got ideas, you got gifts, you got talents, you got skills. Um, the book of Proverbs is dangerous, y'all. It is dangerous. Uh, if you got aspirations, if, 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 if you got, uh, you, there's just something inside you like, man, I know I can, I can do more. I know I can go further. I know that where I'm at is not where I'm, I'm destined to be. What's up, Destiny? Uh, so yeah, now the, and, and the other side of it is wisdom, the book of Proverbs, it really helps you avoid pitfalls. It really helps you avoid pitfalls. Like the, 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 the wisdom in this book, the wisdom in this book, like if you guys have never read Proverbs through from like front of book to end of book, I would highly encourage you. We're going to read, we're going to be reading from Proverbs a lot this year. Let me just say that we're going to be reading from Proverbs a lot this year, because there's wisdom in here that is going to order your, your, your next two steps, your next five steps, your next 10 steps. Lots and lots of wisdom here. And notice in verse six, it says, for understanding Proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. So let me just say this. God doesn't want you to just have knowledge. God wants you to have understanding. But listen to this. Understanding comes once you've implemented wisdom. Because guys, if you didn't know, wisdom is an action. Wisdom isn't uh, just a thought. Wisdom is a decision. Wisdom is actually deciding if, if we're using the correct uh, uh, way of, uh, of looking at it. It's actually deciding. You're deciding based on the knowledge that you received. That is wisdom. You're deciding. You're deciding. So let's go to verse 20 and 33. This is going to get interesting. All right. So I'm reading 20 to 33. Yes, please. Right? Yes, please. Okay. Wisdom's, wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourse at the openings of the gates in the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Stop right there. Ooh. So it says out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. Wait a second. And it says she, wait, she raises her voice in the public square. So notice, wisdom is a woman. <laughs> wisdom is a woman. The spirit of wisdom. It says, out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. You guys, do you realize this? It is, there's so many things that Solomon could have asked for. There's so many things he could have asked for. I just have the volume back. There's so many things Solomon could have asked for. He asked for wisdom. He asked God for wisdom. But here's the crazy thing. Wisdom is so out in the open. 
we 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 think of God's wisdom, we think like it's so hard to access. Guys, it's actually easy to access. I'll teach you how easy it is to access God's wisdom. It takes but a simple adjustment to your heart posture, but wisdom, it is actually very easy to receive God's wisdom. And then it says, how long will you who are simple love your simple ways? And in 21, it says, like wisdom's on the top of the wall. She cries out at the city gate. She makes her speech. So wisdom is speaking. Are you catching? Are you positioned to catch the wisdom that is being spoken to you? Keep going, Z. We're going somewhere. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you because I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded. Because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke, I also I also will laugh at your comedy. I will mock when you terror when your terror comes. Stop right your there. Yeah. So wisdom rebukes you. It says, repent at my rebuke, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Then it says, then I will pour out my thoughts to you. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is repentance, though? Repentance is the changing of your mind. It's the changing of your mind. Remember. Your posture. What posture is required for you to receive wisdom? The first part of your posture is repentance. Change your thinking. Change the way you think. It says, repent at my rebuke. Then I will pour out my thoughts to you. Here's a revelation. Where, can wis where does wisdom enter you? Through your thought life. I just said, I just told you something. Wisdom enters through your thought life. How important now has it become for you guys to keep your minds clear of what demons will clutter your mind with? What is in your subconscious that's been renting space for free that troubles you? You've allowed it to stay in that place. Wisdom can't enter you. Too much storage space used up in your thought life. We're going to go deeper into that. But I want you to think about that. Your thought life. How do you make room for wisdom to enter you? The first one is repentance. Change your mind. Change your mind. And then it says... And you, but you refuse to listen when I call. And no one pays attention when I stretch out my hand. So wisdom is stretching out her hand to you. And it said, then it says, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock you when calamity overtakes you. Yo, man, wisdom. Yeesh. <laughs> Wisdom. Yay. Keep going, Z. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled, filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will secure without fear of the evil. It's a lot. Did I not tell you guys this year was going to be a funny year? This, is, this year is going to be a funny year. If you want to be sustained this year, 
if you want to be protected this year, if you want safety this year, listen to wisdom. His position yourself to receive wisdom. That last verse. But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. Wisdom is dangerous. Wisdom is dangerous because people will be looking at you. My goodness, this, these, all these small businesses, they're, they're going under. How are you sustained? How, how, how are you, the people are going to be looking, how did you not go down? Everybody got laid off from this one job. Why are you still there? How, 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 how did they not lay you off? How did it? You know something they don't know. God's wisdom has entered you. I'm going to say that one more time. God's wisdom has entered you. So notice, quick recap, because this is so important for us to understand. From verse 20, out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. Guys, it's not hard to find God's wisdom. It's not, I want you to get out of your mind that like it is so difficult to receive wisdom from God. It's a lie. It's actually easy. The problem is we lack, uh, uh, we lack a very simple word called focus. We lack a very simple word called focus. The, 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 the things of life, the distractions of life, the things of life that take up our time, that take up our attention, that take up our mind causes us not to hear when wisdom is calling aloud. Pay attention to what you focus on in 2024 because the agenda of demons this year, like never before, is to distract you. It won't be to tempt you with all the regular sins that, that we read in scripture. It'll be to distract you. It will be to have you focused on the wrong thing. For better or for worse, meaning that thing that you're focused on, it could be good, it could be bad, it could be indifferent. The point is, is that they've distracted you. So wisdom is calling aloud. Are you positioned both naturally and spiritually to receive what wisdom is saying? Mm. That was a powerful one, Z. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Y'all might have to go back to that one and dissect it a little bit more in your own time, but I'm we, 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 we got places we got to go. James 1, verse 5. James 1, verse 5. <clears throat> I got that. All right, I'm reading from, what version am I reading from? NIV. NIV. <clears throat> if any of you lack lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Read, read, read that one more time, Jack. Yes, sir. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. So God gives you wisdom. Generously. <laughs> generously. <laughs> generously so god is saying i won't just give you a drop i will unload a clip so deep <laughs> i have a machine gun of wisdom i want to unload clips to you are you going to come to me and humble yourself and ask me for it i just told you something listen I told you, how are we positioning ourselves to receive? 
Read that one more time, Jay. I don't think they they got it yet. <laughs> got you. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. So the first question is, do you have the humility to 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 omit to admit you lack wisdom? Where is the starting point? Where is the starting part point? If you want true wisdom from God that will set you apart from everything that is that will transpire in this world that will take many people down. If you want God's wisdom to sustain you, to preserve you, to keep you from harm, the first thing you have to do is humble yourself before God. I lack wisdom. I lack wisdom. I lack wisdom. Lord, I don't want to go through this year without your wisdom. Heart posture, mindset. Heart posture, mindset. Notice when you position yourself to receive, God will become very generous. Let me give you some insight. Some of you guys are praying and asking God for money. Some of you guys are, are, are praying and asking God for financial impact. God wants you to change your prayer language. Ask him for wisdom. He'll give you a skill set. He'll give you an idea. He'll give you a business plan. He'll give you something. Does anybody know the story about the, the woman and the, 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 the jars? Her husband died. He had served the prophet, I believe it was either Elijah or Elisha, one of the two. And she went to the, the great prophet and she said, listen, my, my husband served you well. He's dead now. Uh, you know, and, and, and now I'm going to have to sell my, my two sons uh, into slavery to pay off all of my debts. And the prophet says, what do you have? And she's like, all I have is, is a jar of oil. That's all I have to my name. And he says, go in the house, uh, take the oil, make, send your sons out, go to all the neighbors, grab as many jugs as you possibly can. Bring it all back into your home, shut the door behind you and begin to pour the oil. And I'm paraphrasing, she, she, she pours the oil, they fill every single basin in that place until she's like, I need, I need more, I need more. The sons are like, we used every last basin. The oil stops. She goes to the prophet. The prophet says, take all the oil, sell, sell it, pay off all your debts, and then live off the rest. So she had a financial problem. God gave her a business. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? If this is, if this is resonating with you, type number one. Type number one, God wants to give you more than what you're asking for. Woo! Some, God wants to give you more than what you're asking for. Meaning your ask is too small. That's a word for somebody. Your ask is too small because your mind has not been renewed and has not been restored. There could be there could be a big business inside of that spirit of yours. There could be a, a life you never dreamed of inside of that spirit of yours. There could be a lifestyle. Maybe you want to live out in the middle of nowhere. You, 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 you want to live off grid. Maybe there's a business that allows you, permits you to do that. Maybe there's like, guys, do you know how many people worry about retirement? Ask God for wisdom. He'll show you how to retire with income and then some. We're asking wrong. We're asking wrong. You think God wants to give you money. He wants to give you wisdom. 
Wisdom will make sure you sustain what it produces. Trying to get you guys to think bigger. We got to think bigger. We got to think bigger. Let's go to James 3.17. James 3.17. That's me. Okay. It says, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is pure. That's the most important thing about it. And that's not all. It also loves peace. It thinks about others. It obeys. It is full of mercy and good fruit. It is fair. It doesn't pretend to be what it is not. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Some of us have nearly sold our soul for, 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 for the do re -mi. For the do re -mi. Read that part. Read that part where it says, what does it give you? And by the way, uh, Destiny, that's three, that's James 3, 17. What's, what's, what's it give you? This type of wisdom. Okay, it says, it also loves peace. It thinks about others. Mm -hmm. It obeys. Mm -hmm. It is full of mercy and good fruit. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is fair. It doesn't pretend to be what it is not. Mm. How many of us have, have, have pretended to be something we are not in order to get ahead? Uh, in, in order to accomplish something? In, 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 in order to uh, get some sort of a, a fix for an issue or a problem? God is saying the wisdom that comes from above is pure. Meaning you won't have to compromise who God said you are in order to walk in it. The other thing is interesting, Rosie, is wis that wisdom comes with peace. It comes with peace. It's considerate. It's got mercy. Here's the thing I find interesting. And Glow was talking about PG was talking about side A and side B on Sunday. Side A, all the fruits of the spirit. Notice the wisdom from above. When you walk in it, you activate multiple fruits. Read that last part again, Rosie. Sure. So it says... It is full of mercy and good fruit. Fruits, plural. So you're wondering, ah, man, how can I, how can I increase, um, how can I increase uh, the fruits of the spirit? How can, how can I walk in that? How can I improve in that? How can I increase in that? And by the way, this is a revelation for somebody. Some of you are saying, yeah, you know, that's what we're supposed to do, right? We're supposed to walk in the fruits. That, that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, guys, there's a power that is unleashed spiritually every time you walk in a fruit of the spirit. Did you know that? There is literally supernatural power that is unleashed let me give you an example. Somebody slanders your name. Somebody speaks ill about you. Somebody lies on you, gossips about you, tells rumors about you. There's a, there's a verse in scripture. I, I can't recall it at the moment, but it talks about patience. And it says one of the, 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 the deadliest forms of patience is saying nothing when somebody speaks badly on your name. You're allowing time to silence your haters. You didn't hear what I just told you. The power that is unleashed by you not responding, by you not saying anything, by you not falling to what 
typically people would do. Oh, they 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 told a lie. I gotta correct that. I I, I gotta tell people that I'm 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 the truth. They they lying on my name. I gotta say something. Yet you're robbing yourself of peace. You're robbing yourself of the fruits. All of the things that come with wisdom from above, you just robbed yourself. So notice, the wisdom that comes from above not only gives you peace, it activates supernatural power through multiple fruits. I just gave you a fast track to implement the fruits of the spirit in your life. I just gave you a way to fast track this thing. Receive and walk in wisdom from above. Receive and walk in wisdom from above. Some of what you guys need to excel in 2024 is not a masterclass, is not a uh, mastermind, is not uh, playing video games and there's so many things that you could you could be doing what you need in 2024 activate the fruits of the spirit that come with the wisdom from above this wisdom will take you further then you can go by yourself. That you could go in your own strength. That you then you can go in your own knowledge, in your own wisdom. If you want to go further in life, then it's possible for you naturally. You need to activate something that is spiritual, that will take you beyond the natural. And when it manifests back into the into the the, the natural, people be wondering, how did they, how did you, how come they don't know you act some you access something that is not of this world. You access something that is not of this world. Now let's go to James 1. 19 to 25. James 1, 19 to 25. Okay, I'm reading from the NIV. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. Mm. Thank you, PG. Dangerous. Gotcha. Dangerous. Dangerous. I have a slightly different version, and, and I think this will help because it'll give you context from what Glow uh, PG read as well. My dear brothers and sisters, always be more willing to listen than to speak. Always be more willing to listen than to speak. In 2024, move in silence. <laughs> move in silence. You don't have to share everything with everyone. In 2024, 
Use wisdom from above to decide what to say, when to say. What to say, when to say. Keep control of your anger. Anger does not help you live the way God wants. So get rid of everything evil in your lives, every kind of wrong you do. Be humble and accept God's teaching that is planted in your hearts. This teaching can save you. Don't just listen and do nothing. When you only sit and listen, you are fooling yourself. Remember I said this to you guys. Satan's objective this year is to distract you. How many of you will jump off of this call tonight and by tomorrow you've forgotten every word that was taught here today? I just told you something. How many of you ask yourself seriously, genuinely, humbly, how many of you will listen to this teaching tonight? The Holy Spirit is dangerously giving you downloads. Tomorrow you forgot the whole thing. Tomorrow you go back to status quo. Maybe 1% of you, maybe 1% of you will hear what the Lord is saying. He says, this teaching can save you. Do what God's teaching says. Don't list, just listen and do nothing. When you only sit and listen, you are fooling yourselves. Hearing God's teaching and doing nothing is like looking at your face in a mirror and doing nothing about what you saw. You go away and immediately forget how bad you look. But when you look into God's perfect law that sets people free, pay attention to it. Mindset. If you do what it says, you will have God's blessing. Never just listen to his teaching and forget what you heard. From today, make a point to have a journal. Make a point to have some sort of place where you can put your thoughts. Many of you, God is giving you wisdom in your thought life. You don't know to write it down. You don't write it down. You forget about it. Yet God was trying to speak to you something because he knew what was coming around the corner. Am I speaking to somebody? Be so focused. Let nothing get by you. Because when you humble yourself and ask God for wisdom, you have to be prepared for the downloads that come. Guys, pay very close attention. I'm telling you, this thing is strange. God's wisdom is very strange. Very strange. Very unorthodox. Very unlike the way we think. Very unlike the think the way we operate. Very different. It takes focus to pay attention. You just might miss it. I'm going to say that one more time. It takes focus, meaning lack of distractions, or you just might miss it. You just might miss it. Here's a revelation for you. Here's a revelation for you. Between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m., if you ever find yourself up, a way to position yourself to hear from God, meditate on the last thing he said to you. Meditate on the last thing that you read in the word. Meditate on the testimony of what God has done in your life. Hear me. If you ever wake up between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m., you just, you're just awake. You don't know why you're awake. We like to go on our phone. Uh, let me check Instagram. Let me check up. You just missed it. 
Ah, some of you just missed it. <laughs> wisdom. Wisdom. He's speaking to you. Remember, wisdom, she's speaking aloud. Out in the open. Hoping somebody is going to hear. Have you positioned yourself to hear? Have you positioned yourself to hear? So if you want to walk in divine wisdom, if you want to make decisions that are actually going to move the needle in your life, that are actually going to bear results, that are actually going to change you from the inside out, that are actually going to activate power via the fruits of the Spirit. Humble yourself before God and ask Him for wisdom that you lack. Humble yourself before the Lord. Ask Him for wisdom that you lack. Because as Jay read, God is actually waiting for you to do this, guys. I don't know how you, you, we don't understand. God is so loving. He's so merciful. He'll be us, but he's also waiting. If they would just put pride to the side for a second, come before me, my child. Ask me. I want to give this to you. <laughs> I really want to give this to you. Are you willing to humble yourself and ask me for it? Genuinely, prayerfully, Genuinely, I will give it to you. Type number one if you want to receive God's wisdom this year. And we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. I really want to challenge you guys. Don't limit God. The wisdom he will give you, I told you, it's strange. It's really strange. It's very odd. If I'm being honest, it doesn't make sense. A lot of the time it doesn't make sense. This will help somebody. The understanding doesn't come until you've decided. <laughs> Some of you are looking to understand before you do anything. But you'll never know if you don't activate your faith. I always say to the Lord, bless it or block it, Lord. If I heard you wrong, bless it or block it. I submit to you completely. Because if I got it wrong, correct me. Preserve me from going down a rabbit hole. Guys, I'm just being real. You can't sit here and, and say we, 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 we get it right all the time. A lot of times we get it wrong. A lot of times we get it wrong. I'm going to say that one more time. A lot of times we get it wrong. So can we humble ourselves and just simply say we don't know? God, I need your wisdom. God, I've received what I believe is your wisdom. I'm kind of new to this. I'm actually walking you through, like, I'm kind of new to this positioning myself to receive this. I, I think I may have received, I'm not sure. Bless this or block it. I'm, I'm going to walk in faith. I don't know. I'm not sure. If this is nonsense, just take me off the path, please. Cor correct me, uh, preserve me, do whatever you need to do. I'm actually showing you step by step right now. If you're catching. Become like a child before God. Is somebody listening to me? Become like an infant before God. 
allow him to build you up in, into something you never even thought was possible. This year, become so childlike before your father. Allow him to teach you like he's never taught you before because now you're open to receive divine wisdom because she's calling. She's calling and she's out in the open waiting for who will receive. So where you are on your screen, where you are in your house, where you are in your car, I don't know where you guys are. I want you to take a moment to yourself and pray. Humble yourself before the Lord and ask him for the wisdom that you don't have this year. Wherever you are, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I know nothing. I lack wisdom. I don't want to go through this year without the pure wisdom that comes from you, that comes from above. I don't want to miss anything that you have for me this year. I need your protection. I need you to sustain me. I need you to cover me. I need you to lead me. Father, this year, help me to understand how to position myself to receive wisdom from you. Help me to change my thinking to make room for the thoughts you want to download into me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer genuinely, seriously, and humbly before the Lord Jesus, just know God is about to answer you generously. I didn't say it. He said it. He will answer you generously. Don't fret, don't fear, don't be distracted. Create natural habits. Listen to me, create natural habits in your daily routine, in your daily schedule that cultivate, that support, that complement the mental state that is required for you to receive. Some of you need therapy in order to receive. Some of you need counseling in order to receive. I need counseling in order to receive. I need therapy in order to receive. Hello, I'm putting my hand up. I need these things in order to receive. Where God is going to take me. I, I know I need something I don't have. Humble yourself before the Lord. He will lift you in due time. He will lift you in due time. God bless you guys. I hope that this teaching was, uh, it gave you something that will position you this year correctly for what God is about to do in your life. So God bless you. Uh, I hope we set a good tone for the year. 
I hope you receive something from God tonight. And we will see you all in a few weeks. You have a good night, Josh. You too, Jay. Good night, go. Start. Good night, y'all. Night, night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Powerful. <laughs> oh,